is Brian Otieno and welcome to our third tutorial in the CI series. In this video, I will teach you how to create a new controller. And to do that, I'll just uh, switch to my IDE, that is Aptana Studio, and click on controllers and add a new file. Let me call my controller example the PHP. And um, the first thing that I'm going to do is to just add a PHP block. And then check if my base path is defined. The reason why I'm checking if my base path is defined is to uh, let the application load as a whole. I want the whole framework to boot up, not just the not just the example.php file to run on its own. So um, by checking if the base path is defined, so then that's my alarm reminding me that. I need to handle a few other things, but okay. Um, by checking if my base path is defined, it's just a way of making the new controller warm up the whole system, not running on, on its own. When it runs on its own, uh, it will make our system vulnerable to attacks. So um, I'll check if my base path if, is defined. So if not defined, and then I'm going to check on my base path. If it's not defined, exclamation mark here means not. So if not defined, then I'll just go ahead and exit with a status of um, no direct script access allowed. Okay. So, um, I'll go ahead and create uh, my my controller. So my controller will take on a class, and then that is class class example. Okay, class my controller name, my controller name, and um, my example. You can see is, uh, starts with an uppercase. Okay, so that's the syntax. You must start your uh, controller name with an uppercase okay so class example extends ci controller and then that's it but um we can go ahead and and call our our constructor function or, or just the function construct so function cons, uh, function construct should start with double under uh, underscore. So function construct construct k and can call our parent constructor. So we have parent construct. So that's the that's the syntax for creating a new controller though these are not not as necessary okay so um but but here within the uh, af after calling the the parent construct you can go ahead and load your your libraries you can load your models if you if you feel like auto auto loading them um you can even load your helpers for example you can you can go ahead ahead and load libraries here this um load li library and then the library name or you can load them as an array okay array so array is just an is just a list of other items okay so array you can do form validation if you want to work with forms so let's go and do form validation You can load sessions because we, we, we will be working with sessions as well. Uh, you can load several other things like, um, let me say, tables. So, table, you can do email if you'll be working with emails, and there is other things. So, you can load your 
uh, models as well as an array here uh, but uh, we'll do that when when we've created our mod uh, some some extra models let me go into my models list. I have the main, the main model here so I'll just go ahead and 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 load it auto load it so this load it's not even auto loading it's just loading okay I'll show you how to auto load how to auto load um models in your in your configuration file so this load mo model and then uh, main mod with you can load your helpers because you'll be working with um, things like dates array your all form I mean so you can go ahead here and and, auto -lo and load um so this load helper can this at uh, you, we can do this as an array as an array of helpers so um you can work with the dates uh we'll be working with arrays let's keep it uh urls we'll be working with forms and so many things so um that's a way of that's a way of create of creating a controller so that um we can go ahead here and and load and load our login page again so we can do function function login and then let's do this let's call our our login view this lo load view and then uh, login okay so that you can come back here and then switch to our controller that we just created that is example and then login oops i worked with form validation validation okay I never typed everything in full. Unable to connect to your database using, using the provided settings. This is kind of database error. So this error is showing because I've not configured my database in my configuration file. So I'll just go ahead and comment this one out. I don't want to load any model because model more mo models expect to work with databases and i have not configured that yet so um let me reload this okay we have an error here uh function br because i've not loaded my html so let me go and add my html helper as in the array list good so i think i'm just good to go here So I've loaded my login page using my new controller. So um, that is how it is how to create a new to create a new controller. So um, if you guys are tired of seeing my home city in the background here, you can just go ahead and change it in the login file here. Let me see. Okay. This is kisumu.jpg so i included another an, another background image called uh called bg i i renamed it bg under assets and then images folder there's another uh, image there called bg and just a photo of i think budapest yeah budapest so it looks a little bit clean and nicer so um why didn't you guys oh no before i before i say bye for now um i can show you guys how to extend this 
how to extend this um, this controller you can extend this controller I've extended the CI controller but I can go ahead and extend my examples controller so um, just within the within the same same file just within the, the the same same file here before you find my PHP block uh, I can extend create another class which extends so let me say class um, because I'm running out of names and I'm not creative with names I'll just go ahead and call it example 2 class example 2 extends uh, example okay so I want I want to extend this class here the the controller just I just created so uh, class example to extend extensive example okay so I can go ahead and call the function construct or just work or just work on something here some code okay or I can just call uh, the parent construct so as to I can do the function contract uh, 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 construct first, but um, this is another way of it, just extending, just extending this control line here. So you guys should know how to work with this also as well. So maybe that that's it for now. Maybe you can join me in the next lesson to um, see how to uh, create a new view and to pass, start passing your data from the controller to the view. Okay, so um, why don't I see you in my next lesson?